Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I'm here with my new friend, Darius Nunez, who passed his real estate exam in New York. He's in Queens, ready to take his next step. I think the expression you used was jump off the lily pad to the next lily pad. Did I say that right, or did I mess that Indeed. up? Indeed. Indeed. No, you got it. You hit it right on the nose. So what's next for you now that you passed and you're ready to go? Well, honestly, right now, I just have some mentors lined up. I'm excited to get into the real estate game. Um, I've been thinking about it for some time. Uh, I pursued my studies in November of 2019 and finally accomplished my goal of passing. And right now, I just want to more so learn as much as I can about the field. And then from there, just do my due diligence, expand on my portfolio, and continue to be a success for my family and for my community. So you mentioned there's some thoughts you wanted to share about your process. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Well, the process. For one, you got to remain confident. You got to believe in your studying. You got to believe that you have everything mastered down. And number two, I would say, understand your vocabulary. Vocabulary is crucial. I know people have said this in other interviews with you, but it's the truth. If you don't know your vocabulary, you're not going to succeed because things are going to throw you off. If you don't have the terminology down pat, it's going to throw you off. And three, just live, breathe, and eat uh, real estate. To study it, you have to be able to comprehend everything. So I would say just constantly while you're driving, while you're taking a shower, while you're cooking, while you're working out, just constantly review, 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 review. And it'll pay off because a lot of it will just be like, almost like muscle memory. Um, it'll just sink in, it'll just be there. And once you read it on the paper and in your exam, it'll just come out, it'll spew out right on the paper. And from there you just, you'll pass, no doubt about it. There's no other way to go about that. So you're a fitness pro. So a healthy guy works in training. I'm going to take a yes. guess because I've spoken to other fitness people before as well. You did mm -hmm. not wait till the last minute to learn everything. You did not try and learn the weekend before. No, it's almost like trying to get a healthy body. You know what I That's mean? That's exactly why I said that. Because, yeah, right. all the fitness guys I've spoken to, of which you are one, are really good at planning the study and knowing it has to be done on a regular basis leading up to the big day. It doesn't right. work when you just kind of do it all the weekend before. All the people who are really fit have a really good understanding of just not seeing the results that day, understand it's a regular process of being consistent with the working out and the studying. I mean, you were talking living and breathing it, and I'm thinking, I bet he planned like the studying just like he planned his workouts every day and had it planned out for the week what he was going to do. Because there's exactly. a certain mentality you fitness people have. That I think everybody <laughs> I mean, it could be a quirky habit that we have, but I feel like it's only for the future benefit and our success. You know, you got to plan to succeed. You got to plan. And so it's like you said, it's doing repetition, constant repetition, reps, reps, reps. And eventually you'll have it to the point where you know you're at an elite level. And then from there, you just go into the exam confident. I'm not going to say I wasn't a little bit nervous. I did have my fears. I did have my little quirks about how I was going to do. But at the end of the day, I aced it. And I, I feel great. I feel accomplished. And I'm just ready to take on my next endeavor. So, yeah. I see so many fitness people like yourself, and I know you'll be one as well, who are just so successful with this. And it's just because there's that mentality of you don't see the immediate game. Because you guys are accustomed to – you don't just do something and see the benefit. You see the benefit down the road. It takes time. And for a lot of people, it's very tough to accept that reality of doing a lot of hard work and seeing nothing. Whereas if you're a fitness person, you know you don't see anything because you only see stuff way down the road as you're doing it for a while consistently. And so you guys already have that mentality built in, not to mention most of you guys are salespeople already as well. So you add those two things. I mean, it's just even when you prepared to study, but also after you pass. I mean, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but I think that all that's going to carry through pretty well. No, Joe, you're absolutely right. I mean, in hindsight, it's a long-term investment. Long-term meaning 
you have to see the end result. You can't just look for the short term. You can't just see the now and, and, and hope that everything will happen in the moment that you're doing it. Like nobody does 50 crunches and then lifts their shirt and says, oh, I have six pack abs. It just doesn't happen. I'm sorry to tell you. It's got to take weeks, months, proper dieting, proper, you know, planning. Everything comes into fruition for the long term, not for the short term. And so that's how I look at my real estate um, in preparation and just for the future of my business. Um, you know, I thank you for commending me on that, but I do see it as something that you have to be in tune with. If you're not in tune with it, you're not going to really prosper in this industry or in any industry for that matter. You have to look long-term. So I highly agree with you. Especially industry. And that's why I refer fitness as well, where you're on your own and there is like this long-term game where you have to be self-motivated and be consistent. Like there are certain things where you just apply for a job, you get it, you're doing your work, you know, but whether you're yeah. a personal trainer or a real estate agent, that's just not the case. You're on your own. You got to be consistent with it. You got to stay with it, you know, and you'll prosper, but you know, not all industries require that, but this one does. And so does the other one you're in. So yeah, they nice go hand in hand, you know? Yeah. 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 You're right. You do have an excellent point there. And I'm, I just felt like it was a natural transition for me, going from a trainer who one has a sales experience, sales background, networking, and just that longevity, that long-term goal mindset. So, yeah, it goes hand in hand. I'm excited. I'm super excited. You should be. So I'm going to follow your progress. You're going to develop your social media profiles, and then when you have them all developed, you're going to give them to me, and I'm going to put them in the show notes below so everybody can follow you. And I could see you having a lot of success in your community. Help your community, help yourself, help everybody around you. you. It'll all be good. Thank and you. Other than that, is there anything else you want to share? Go ahead. No, I just want to wish everybody who's going to be taking their exam the best of luck. Um, use Joe. Use his study techniques, and you'll be fine. Just pray, and you'll do great. All right. Well, this is Joe from Prep Agent, and I will see everybody later. Bye.